Hey everyone, I'm Rob Franick. I'm Editor-in-Chief here at the Prince Review. Friends, one of the most important things that you can do to improve your writing is broaden your vocabulary. A strong vocabulary can also help you with a wide range of standardized tests, the SAT, the ACT, all the way up through grad entrance exams. We've got a vocabulary builder series right here on our YouTube channel geared towards helping you achieve that very goal. But today, friends, this video is gonna be gone in a flash. It's fast, it's fleeting, and that's because we're discussing the word ephemeral, which means that something lasts only a very short while. If something is ephemeral, it's transitory, it's temporary in nature, you know, like Snapchat or an ice sculpture. The actor Mary Maggie Smith said it best when she says, I like the ephemeral thing about theater. Every performance is like a ghost. It's there and then it's gone. The word ephemeral originates from the Greek word ephemeros, which means lasting a day. Ephemeros is the combination of epi and emera. The prefix epi translates into upon, on, and near, and emera translates into day. So ephemeral refers to something that doesn't last a very long time. Speaking of which, let's just take a second to talk about the beautiful mayfly. The insect's scientific order is called Ephemeroptera, in a not so subtle nod to its famously short lifespan. Things that are ephemeral may be short-lived, but friends, that certainly doesn't mean that they're not memorable. In fact, there's another famous quotation by Charles Baudelaire about the modern artist whose duty, as he writes, is to extract the eternal from the ephemeral. Even when things are fleeting, they can make a lasting impression. As I hope this video is done with you today, folks, of course, remember to subscribe to our channel for the latest videos on vocabulary, grammar, test preparation, college admission, and much, much more. Uh, please check out our twice weekly interactive live streams. Again, Rob Franick, Editor-in-Chief here at the Prince Review. I'll be back with you real soon.